It was a few years since I first came to this enigmatic place. The Labyrinth of Blades is exactly what one would expect from such a name. The elaborate maze of unkempt hedges and mossy brick walls holds a vast assortment of enchanted swords, axes, and daggers. If it is a blade and is magical in some way, it could likely be found here. The appearance of the labyrinth is deceitful. On the outside, it looks like nothing more than a hedge maze one might find in a castle courtyard. The inside is much vaster. The few who returned say it might as well be infinite. Stories of people wandering into this place to find a mystical weapon of their liking only to be lost forever have met my ears many times in the past. I like to think myself smarter than the common folk in those tales. The first time I came here many years ago, I settled on a silver dagger that wasn't too far from the entrance. This dagger ended up holding the power of navigation, which helped me escape the maze. Now that I've returned, I plan on using it to seek a greater reward. Lifting the dagger to my face, I peer through the azure lens in the handguard. A mental image of the blade I wish to find is clear at the front of my conscious. Through the lens, a dense trail of blue stars leads into the labyrinth toward my prize. With a smirk, I march forward. Most thieves wouldn't dare venture so deep into this place, but my mind is set. I already know the main rule of this maze. The farther you get from the entrance, the stronger the magical weapons will be. With this in mind, I prepared for a week-long trip. I'm not the most honest man. I make a living off the contents of other people's pockets and twist truths to get my way. Lately, people have been seeing through my hastily baked deceptions, and I've been denied their purses. That will soon change. This maze has a sword for every occasion, and I came seeking something with the power of deception. Others told me no such blade exists, but my dagger showing me a path to find one here reignites my confidence. The path is straightforward, thanks to the trail of stars. Alcoves and clearings appear every now and again, with mystic weapons sitting on pedestals, held by statues, and grasped by suits of armor. But the enchanted line I follow leads me beyond them all. Eventually the trail ends in a dark clearing. A lone statue stands in front of me facing away and surrounded by semi-spherical mounds of moss. Clutched in its hand is a blade wreathed in the guiding sparks shown by my dagger. It's the Sword of Deception. In my excitement, I rush to the statue and tear the blade from its hand. I hold the sword up to the light, and the well-smithed metal seems to sing to me in a gentle voice. Without a moment to spare, I slide the sword into my blanket roll, raise my dagger, and seek the way back out. The new trail leads me back the way I came, and all seems fine. I did it. I have the sword that will assure a life of thieving luxury. Now everyone will buy my lies with every cent in their pocket. I will be the most deceitful thief to roam the kingdom. Wait. Why is my trail going off in two directions? I follow one path that seems right, and when I reach another intersection, my guiding trail of stars leads off in every available direction. What is going on? My dagger has never shown more than one path before and the directions they lead don't look familiar at all. Perhaps the labyrinth has changed, and all the walls are in different places. Yes, that must be it. That's why the dagger is so confused. It's finding a new direct route. After a minute, the paths straighten up and give me a single route to follow. I sigh and continue my march with a triumphant grin. My smile falters as the path I follow leads me to a dead end and circles back the way I came. I go back and this time it leads me in a completely different direction. For hours I run around the labyrinth, following the trail of my dagger down every path it shows. Sometimes I find a familiar area, but I'm immediately led to a strange place afterward. The sky is turning orange with the sunset now, and I sit down to rest. I undo the bundle on my back and take a bite of the small loaf of bread I packed. My sword of deception clangs as it slips out of the cloth roll and reveals an inscription on the blade I hadn't seen before. My heart sinks as I read it. Whomever holds this sword may speak trusted lies and cheat, 
but will also become victims of the blade's deceit. It all makes sense now. My dagger was misleading me because of the sword's magic. It wasn't just going to let me deceive people I stole from, but it is already using my own dagger to deceive me. If I don't get rid of this thing, I may not ever get out of here. But I still need it to get away with my ploys. I can't just leave it. I came all this way for a tool of magical deception so I can live rich without consequence. I frustratedly gulp down some water, rewrap my supplies, sword in one hand, dagger in the other, and take off again. I keep my right shoulder close to the wall and follow it around the next curve. And the next? The shadows grow and the walls seem to loom ever closer. It has been an hour now, but it feels like a week has gone past. Or is this another deception from this cursed sword? I can't bring myself to get rid of the blade. I came all this way to find it. Surely there must be some way to keep it under control. Some way to make it stop lying. A new idea comes to me. I can leave this cursed blade behind, follow the dagger's path for a short distance, memorize the route, and go back for the sword. I try it again and again, but it will not show me the right path. The curse must have spread to the dagger because leaving the sword behind no longer stops its influence. The sky is dark now and I am completely lost, but maybe, just maybe the door is right around the corner. Surely it must be. Surely, it must be.